Michael Jordan Chicago Bulls. That was an incredible team, an incredible family. You see, I'm a Utah Jazz boy, and so we bumped up against the greatest team in the history of the NBA. It was such a sad thing in my youth to have Michael Jordan around, because he was the greatest player ever, and my Jazz bumped into him in the finals twice, and never won. The one time that we thought we were going to actually win the game to maybe take it into the next opportunity was in the championship series. Jordan's dribbling the ball down, and there's always, there's always a star on every team. We know that. I think we might be surrounded by the stars here today. Okay, so let's say you're all the Michael Jordan of your team, of your family. Okay, so Michael Jordan's dribbling down. Who do we know is going to take the final shot if the Bulls are down? Jordan, it's obvious, right? But in this case, because Michael Jordan was dribbling down and now the entire Utah Jazz team collapsed around one person. Michael Jordan was a good enough team player, a good enough family person that he threw the ball to somebody else with barely any time remaining. His name was Steve Kerr. And he was at the free throw line where he was a 93% free throw shooter. Michael Jordan, as good as he was at taking that final shot, he passed to somebody who was a specialist in that spot on the floor. How often do we utilize the team among us? Those that are great, that have their amazing skills. Because when Steve Kerr grabbed that ball, he sunk the free throw, and they won the championship. Broke my heart. But a perfect example of how we turn a team into a family. As an example for me in my own world, I, I employ people. I, I did notice there are some IT guys here today. If I do my own IT, that is a problem. <laughs> if I do my own accounting or financial work, that is a problem. I allow the people that are better at that than me to do that because I understand their strengths. I hired them for a reason. You were hired for the reason of your signature talents and strengths and signature moves. You have those people on your top golf family. How do you utilize them and give them an opportunity to succeed? You see, whenever I'm standing in front of a group of IT accountants, engineers, these types, as a performer, it's a hard audience normally because they laugh inside their body. <laughs> That's just how they kind of are. When I'm standing in front of these people, I have to give them kind of the experience of what I need as you're my audience today. I need them to give me something a little bit that they may not have known how I feel. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I did a corporate show again. Some crowds make me want to start drinking. <laughs> Quiet accountant silently thinking. Never laughing, clapping, only internally. <laughs> when I see, and I don't like the sound of silence. And I can't stand those IT guys <laughs> and engineers with brains and stars. them fix my computer and I go, <laughs> you're such a gift in my life. And how often do we recognize that in somebody else? Unfortunately, we so often think that we can do it better. We can ball hog it. Michael Jordan probably could have made that shot, but instead he passed it off to that teammate he knew who could do it better. 